Hi guys, I'm Exact Chaos and welcome back to another episode of Ixion. So uh, let's just have a quick look here. So we've got the Peronese back. It's not doing anything yet, but I am a little worried about it. Um, what were we busy doing? I can't remember. It's been a few days since I played. So at the moment we're training colonists and we are upgrading our research so that that goes a little quicker. Um, construct the syndicate site, which I believe is at Romulus over here or over there. Uh, and construct 20 shuttles. So, oh, the syndicate site, I think, is under construction at the moment. Um, and then we, we're currently doing those so those shuttles. Build enough batteries to cover an area of 1,000 tiles. So that's still something we need to do. And I think that's the strategy for for um, kind of um, killing the, uh, the, uh, the, 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 the Piranesi over here. And we need to prepare colonists. So that's something we need to do. Over here at Plutarch, let's have a quick look. Okay. First readings from Plutarch reveal the planet to be a gravitational aberration potential site for analysis have been located. Exoskeleton technology will allow our team to begin planetary exploration. Fragmented transmissions from the Montessori's crew are coming through at an extremely rapid rate. They say um, they have arrived on site and have been waiting for instructions for several cycles now. Hmm, interesting. So we do have a fair bit of alloys available. Um, and I think we should just uh, just go ahead and, and kind of do that. Get the get the alloys in there, the 150 or so. It's going to be okay. So let's just, let's just do that one. Um, alloys will come from sector two. So we probably need to kind of get the kangaroo or something to, to give us the alloys. Um, so let's, let's go ahead and, and continue that piece. Um, at the same time, we're in a position where we are actively mining. Uh, let's just have a quick look. Oh, that's probes. Let's uh, let's get get out of there and let's go and have a look at the fleet quickly. So the kangaroo has got nothing to do, and so that's that's okay. The glue scap is busy grabbing a silicone. The nabrok is giving is getting us iron. Um, number five. So uh, pelican is getting ice, but number five isn't currently doing anything. It's in sector three. Yeah, sector three is the food sector. So if anything, we should move number five over to um, sector two um, and then start um, collecting a little bit. Uh, well, probably we need more carbons, right? Um, we're okay for the time being. But yeah, we need a little bit more of everything, really. Let's, uh, let's pop in and move the pelican over to... No, 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 get back in there. Move the pelican over to sector two if we can. Yeah, absolutely we can. Let's move the pelican over here. So, so we'll bring the. No, it wasn't the pelican, right? That wasn't this, that wasn't what we wanted to do. Yeah, that was the wrong way around. I wanted to. Um, so let's bring the pelican back. Pelican can come back over here, please. Thank you. Let's do that. And over here, it's the the number five that I'm after. There we go. Get the number five in here. Um, and number five can now be allocated to go and pick some stuff up for us. So um, I don't think that's important, but we certainly do need a little bit more of this. So let's um, clear out the kangaroo. So the kangaroo moves iron uh, or alloys over. And while you're waiting for anything else, you can bring in um, extra iron. That's good. So uh, let's get that going. Um, who's, who doesn't have anything to do? Oh, kangaroo. Yeah, that's fine. And we can certainly, uh, once you're done, um, get the guys to come and do the carbons. I think we can. Let's have a look. Where is the carbon? Oh, we don't want to do the carbons because they're um, too far away. We'll move over to Remus at some point and then we'll um, we'll do that. So they want we want everything else to be mined. Well... They probably can head over there unless we decide to do a little bit more carbons nearby. Oh, we wanted to come over there. No, 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 that's fine. We're just going to do that. So they can go and move over in that direction uh, <clears throat> to, to, to get all of that um, underway. Okay, so now um, we're just going to have to kind of see what's, what's happening. We do need to build a lot more uh, batteries. So the tier two batteries, which is five by five, yeah, shall we? Shall we do a couple of them? 
Well, at the very least, let's let's make a start with one of them. We've got alloys and things over here. So let's grab ourselves at least one battery there. So just make a start on that battery. We should have batteries over here. We could not uh, We could add another uh, bigger one, actually. Uh, not quite there. Maybe there. Maybe there. Uh, we don't have any any rubbish yet. But we do have the policy enacted over here. So once we're starting to collect, actually, some of this, we'll go. We'll we'll be better off. Um, let's do. We could have small ones in there. So let's go planning one big one in there, and we'll grab the smaller ones. Actually, a pretty good fit, like so. Grab us. Um, I think do this. Let's do this. We can obviously always um, change that up if we need to. But I think for the time being, let's go ahead and do this one. We'll build a few batteries. <coughs> Should be fine to get those batteries built. They'll move the alloys through. So the alloys will be taking a bit of a dip at the moment. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, so that should be good. Um, once we start seeing a little bit more um, going on here, we'll be fine. Uh, we have everybody kind of working. We should be all good. Optimal conditions everywhere. Um, that's not actually doing anything. Let's see. Can we add a couple of big batteries in here? That's actually not a bad spot for a big battery. So let's, uh, let's start the journey of a big battery over there. <clears throat> we are currently um, demolishing this so we can build a temple of the hull. This guy should be training um, 200 colonists. So let's quickly pause it. It just finished off. So how many colonists do we have? We have... Uh, actually, that is kind of working. So let's go about training another round. Uh, we don't have anything here. So we'll, we'll train another round of 200 colonists. No problem. Let's pop back out and see what's going on at the moment. Um... Let's speed things along a little bit. So we're currently actively mining the ice over here, and we've got guys coming around to pick everything up. Um, that is awaiting some stuff. So I'm assuming Glue Scap is busy loading up. Maybe I paused for too much. Uh, what are we doing over here? We are awaiting a little bit more food and a little bit more colonists <clears throat> in this location. Oh, and we can certainly... Um, go about building some more of those shuttles as well. So that's something we need to be doing. So let's grab a shuttle there. Uh, grab a shuttle here. Grab a shuttle over there. Oh, uh, do we have carbons? We do have carbons. And we should have carbons over here to be building shuttles. And I don't think we've got carbons in this location. So that's not going to be a, a shuttle builder for us. And we don't have... Oh, we have a little bit of carbons here. So let's build an extra one. I mean, this location, we've built our battery here. So at least the battery tiles are starting to come up. Maybe we can fill this spot up with batteries and we don't have to do too much else. And there's certainly room for some batteries over here as well. So we're doing a lot. Uh, we do need to keep a, keep an eye on these uh, on these polymers, um, the, the carbon polymers, so, because that's a bit of a challenge. Is this doing anything? What's happened? First reading from Project Review, a well, fragmented transmission, what? We are no longer receiving transmissions from the Montessori. Biometric report data suggests that the team experienced accelerated aging. This led to insanity, hunger, dehydrations, and finally death. The uh, expedition will be declared lost. So what does this mean? But automated flight protocols will recover the Montessori. Um, wow. Well, let's repatriate it. That's quite interesting. So that uh, that leaves us open with the... Um, wow, Plutarch was a bit of a disaster then. Uh, okay, let's get the Montessori back. And then what we'll do is we'll head off over into the direction of Remus. Um, I was hoping we can... Okay, so what I can do is I can certainly get... Um, Number five. And what we'll do is we'll get the kangaroo to also do this. Uh, probably not going to be able to do that much longer. So let's just go with that. Get, get a lot more um, um, iron collected at the moment. So we can come bulk up on, in terms of those alloys. Um, I don't think uh, we're busy loading up the kangaroo anymore. That's what, That was a really interesting um, 
issue there with the Plutarch, and I do, we still don't have anything happening with the Berenese. What's going on here? We've got all of our food. We're wa- wa- waiting on a little bit more in terms of colonists. Um, the mining ships are heading over, which is okay. I'm, I'm quite comfortable with them heading over. We'll, we'll want to move... Um, we we'll want to move our uh, our um, our guys over as well, our um, our tycoon over as well, um, fairly soon. And then the Montessori, we could actually head over here to Vulcan. That's okay, uh, and we'll can do a little bit of work there. Let's uh, pop in and just see that we are still all good with our populations. So sector one is optimal, two is optimal, three is optimal, four is optimal, five is optimal, and happy. All of them happy and and the likes. Um, and we've built a number of additional um, things over here. Uh, we should be okay to build yet another. So let's grab another big battery here and another small battery there. Should be fine. We're starting to see a little bit of uh, waste being generated. And I wouldn't mind building this as well at some point. And we can start, start to certainly build some more stuff um, in this general area. We don't have anybody... Um, no cryopods or anything here. We can build another one of these, I think. Let's build another big boy over there. Um, and I'm kind of tempted to build a few in here. I don't think we're going to need anything else but build a few big batteries here. So let's do uh, two of them. Should be fine. Two big batteries over there. Should be all good. Actually, we can probably fill up the rest of this as well. Yeah, so all, a, a lot of batteries can go in there. I don't think we have room for any more batteries here unless we um, clear something out. And I don't necessarily think that's something that we can do. If I were to try and put a big battery in here, uh, we'd lose access um, on that side. So that's going to be a bit of a challenge for us to do. Um, and I don't think there's anything else along here that I can really move out unless we move one of these facilities out. Built a big battery there. Is he charging? Yeah, we do need a little bit more in terms of batteries here. So what I'll do, actually, let's um, let's close this one out. We'll dismantle that one. We'll move everything over to the other side there. We've even got an extra one here too. And to be honest, we can buy that in there, right? See if that's a that's a thing. Uh, can we build the big one? The big one would be great. If we can squeeze the big one in. Oh, we cannot squeeze the big one in. Can't go anywhere. Maybe down here if we uh, if we clear this one out. Yeah, it's a bit of a challenge. So, it's going to be small ones. Can we do more than one? My goodness. Even that's going to be a challenge for us. So, let's do one there. One there at least so we'll get a few more of the small ones in place and see if that helps us out could we could we get a big one to go in there I believe we can so I'm going to um, demolish that one we'll definitely we'll potentially just um, and then we'll put a put a big battery in that location that's going to be good once that's cleared out Yeah, clear that one out so we'll we'll have a little bit more going for us. We need um, lots of iron to come in here. We've got plenty of certain things really. But iron, yeah, it's not coming in quick enough, I think. Yeah, and we're burning through the alloys at the moment. Uh, what are you saying? You're out of alloys? Are we completely out of alloys? My goodness. Destruct the syndicate. We've done that. Uh, let's... Let's... Oh, my goodness. Um, we've got different connectivity there. So I think we can probably clean that one out and put the big guy in there. Let's do that. Get a big one going. Um, alloys. We need way many, many, many more alloys. So what we could do is we could probably see about maybe building an extra um, iron facility here or alloy facility here. And then we'll have to move. Um, let's see about that. We should have tons of workers here, right? Yeah, absolutely. So if we go and say from a factory perspective, let's give me another steel mill.
Okay, let's do that. Will the steel mill provide us with um, that area? Uh, we might we might redo that at some point. Have a look. Uh, what we will need to do is provide an area for for alloys to come in. We could do this area here, really. Oh, that one, that one. I mean, for um, for iron. So let's do that. We'll make that one iron. We'll switch it on, and we'll make sure to move. Um, iron over there. So if we move iron to which sector are we talking about? Sector 5, right? This is sector 4. So let's move iron to sector 4. Let's make sure to move as many as much as we can over there. Yeah, we're, we're moving it as quickly as possible. Yeah, absolutely. And then we'll We'll see about the rest of this. So let's just uh, get that underway. So once that's built, we should be able to start moving that through. Um, we've got a fair bit of battery power going on. And once that thing's fully loaded, it should be all good. Um, we could build another one over here as well. Um, where is all of our iron, right? Are we not collecting iron? Where is the iron going? Straight in here? Let's just have a look. What's our fleet doing? Our fleet should be collecting iron, no problems, right? Number five, oh, actually, number five, don't worry about that for now. Clear it out and get iron to us. And we could actually get an extra ship at, uh, at, at, at sector four to also bring in iron. I think that's something that we should probably have a look at. Sector four has, um, has a place. So let's, um, let's grab an extra cargo ship over here. Should be fine. And then we'll go shuttles again. Uh, and then just make sure to, to bring bring iron in as quickly as possible. Now, we are not doing any research at the moment, so let's have a look. Can we can we have a bit of a look at the research side of things? I'll pause it while we look at this. So Temple of the Hull, we can uh, improve stability even further if we needed to. The observatory component provides uh, stability, but um, you know I don't know if hull integrity, the drop of hull integrity is necessary. The water treatment waste to fulfill water needs for the sector. I don't know if that's something that's really important to us either. If we have a look at this, the recycling uh, polymer provides five extra units. Recycling alloy costs 10 fewer waste. Okay, that's an interesting one. So 50 waste goes into 50, 50 waste into polymers and then nanofilters, recycling 20 and then self-cleaning. Power cost is reduced. The deoxidized contacts at the steel mill is required. So let's grab that one. Power cost is reduced. Uh, we should have a fair bit of research ready to go. That's the one. So let's uh, think about grabbing that one at least. We can do medium stockpiles or vertical parkings, which uh, is a little bit helpful. I definitely, definitely agree with that. Uh, probe launchers don't need to do that much better than we have at the moment. The EVA airlock. Construction speed. Okay, if we go to the docking bay, though, storage optimization can store a little bit more. I think that's an interesting one for us. And uh, resources, yeah. Let's let's uh, let's go and uh, improve the document a little bit. We did do Romulus there. Okay, so let's uh, let's leave that in place. We're currently doing a little bit of that. Um, I think we're okay with batteries. Well, we do need more battery um, areas. No training is in progress. How many colonists do we have? We have a lot of colonists, so let's start another round. Let's just have a look at how many people we have in Sector 1. So Sector 1 gives us a population of 1,226. We don't have a lot of workers available. There's plenty of non-workers, so we can at least do two more rounds of, uh, of, of colonists' uh, development over here. But yeah, we've got, a, got to have a look at how we, how we deal with that. But yeah, lots of colonists ready to go. If I pop out, have we, we finished this? So let's have a look at this one. The syndicate site is finished. Agricultural systems are operational. The infirmary is ready and stocked. And, uh, stocked and the research labs have been set up with all the necessary equipment. We have completed more than half of the work required to successfully colonize Romulus. Oh my, now we need to do another round. The crew of the contact will prepare the ash. Uh, the Astangite site. We will be able to produce refined resources and maintain our vehicles and infrastructure. So what we need to do is send 50 alloys, 5 electronics, 50 food, and 50 colonists. That shouldn't be the end of the world. The alloys is our biggest issue at the moment. 
So let's do that. We would like to send from um, from sector two. That's where all of this stuff. Oh, actually, no. We'll send from sector one. So the Nabrok is going to be be the one for us. So Nabrok can load up and and send those things over. Excellent. Let's uh, let's keep going. But Renazi is still kind of hanging out uh, calmly over here. Uh, we still need to build a few more uh, shuttles, so that's definitely something that we, we can have a look at at the moment. Uh, let's build another shuttle there. Um, and let's build another shuttle here. And then one more shuttle over here should then be fine, right? Okay, that's three more shuttles. That'll be the 20. Well, we're still doing the colonists. Lots and lots of colonists that's required at the moment. But at least we're training them pretty damn quickly at, um, as it stands. How many how many colonists do we have across the entire ship? So, at, I mean, non-workers is 460, 150. Oh, there's 800 in Sector 4. Yes, there we go. That'll be the rest of our colonists. The, that, that one and that one. Oh, we'll just bring all of the colonists over to Sector 1. Uh, we don't have a we don't really have room for them to live there. So what we may do is we might move colonists over to a different area. Yeah, that's an interesting, an interesting component, really. Uh, can I switch this one on to do this a little quicker? Yeah, we do have the workers. I think we can. Let's uh, let's switch that on. Yeah, that's enough. Yeah, let's let's uh, let's get electronics done a little quicker. I think that's uh, that's a good idea. Oh, this is the big guy, is it? No, it's not. Just the normal small stockpile there. These have been built. Oh, this is almost done. Um, in this one. Okay, so let's have a look here. We should be able to... Oh! Why do we have two? Did I... Did I queue up two? Anyway, does not matter. Bring in, um, bring in that for us, please. Much as you can. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to send a probe off um, over here to start looking for more iron. Um, because I think that will be a bit of a challenge for us here in this location. Here we go. Send it out through there. That's what we'll be after. Yeah, I'm going to try and pick up as much as we can. How's our ice looking? I don't think we need any more ice, do we? One ship bringing in ice seems to be more than enough. Um, and our research is kind of underway at the moment. Everybody is still happy and healthy in all of these um, sectors, right? Yeah, that's good. Still need to double up on our battery capacity at the moment. Ah, oh, over here. Sector of the hull, the uh, technology, so that's going to reduce the um, the power used for the um, the iron facilities for the alloy smelters. Now, um, population stability. Let's just have a look quick here. The whole temple needs a lot of um, alloys. Oh, and it doesn't actually. Oh, but we can do. We can get rid of that little section there and put another whole temple in there. Now the whole temple does what for us? It gives us plus one stability. At the moment, it's not a big deal. So I'm just going to leave it be for the time being. We're uh, we're going to wait it out. We're not going to be proactive in terms of that. Wow! Look at this. 24 cycles of ba battery power here, and we should start seeing a little bit more. But it needs 50 to be honest. So can I start moving? Let's let's move some of our colonists over this way. Only colonists from Sector 1 to Sector 5. I believe we should have housing in Sector 5, right? 200. Let's grab ourselves like 200 housing. So 200 of them, please. Let's, uh, let's start the migration of 200 colonists over that way. Just because uh, we might run out of housing in Sector 1. Well, not really. There's enough housing as it stands. But let's move that over. Maybe they can help produce slightly more waste. That's kind of the idea. Now, this should be underway. Excellent. So we are should be upping our alloy game a little bit more now. Food is... Is food dropping? 
think we're okay with food. We certainly have the ability to go um, all guns blazing on more food. We've got plenty of water. Uh, questions, do we store any more water? I don't really think so. I think we're kind of all covered. We'd rather, we need to, we need to move more of the food around. Uh, okay, storage optimization has been unlocked. So now these guys can, can store even more stuff in here. Uh, let's quickly pop into this and see whether there's anything else we can grab. So um, from a docking bay perspective, long life, loading and unloading resources from docking bay is faster. Everything can become storage. So I'd rather we go down this path of storing more and more of the stuff in the docking bay. Um, because it is being, it is becoming a pretty useful area to just make sure we keep filling things up. Now, I do want to have a quick look. 200 colonist crew members have been moved. Um, let's have a look at what's going on over here. We're not training anybody. Let's train another round of colonists, please. And uh, what else am I trying to do now? Don't have any of this happening just yet. Yeah. Okay. Um, I still need to build a little bit of stuff here, but we do need to make sure that we're constantly running the alloys. Um, hang on, hang on. I wanted to look at the at this area and just have a quick look at food. Sector 3 is producing food and we're trying to keep everybody nice and filled up with food. Yeah, we've got more food than we actually need. So can we upgrade any of these things or not really? 300 food in Sector 1. If I go about saying, hang on, maintenance gives us this one. This is just still a small stockpile and we can't actually upgrade this at all. So we need to have a look at some research to maybe look at that. Can we build a couple of small batteries in there? We can. So what I'll do is I'll build one there. We'll build a quick road, fill it in. We'll get build a battery there, and then once that battery is built, we'll build the other one. Just a little bit more. And here we can still build a couple of big ones. Um, and to be honest, that might be the right thing for us to do because we can still do more okay let's pop out for a second and have a look what's the status of this if we started to drop off alloys we still need the electronics we still need the food so let's pop in we're doing everything from sector one so let's just make sure we have a fair supply of electronics going on over here sector one uh, just make sure we've got like seven of them in there please yeah let's do that Everybody else is kind of holding a reasonable amount of small or a small amount of electronics. We have all of our, yeah, yeah, we've got all of that. So we do need to construct the Ashtangat site. This is underway for another 200 colonists. And what I'm hoping for is that we are producing um, slightly more waste here now. Yeah, we've got the batteries in here. We can fill this up with batteries. We can certainly fill in a few more batteries over here. So we should be all good, really. Should be all good. Um, we just need to spend a lot of the alloys on batteries. That really is the thing. Um, if I were to... Yeah could do at least one more well we can get rid of all of this food stuff to be honest we don't need that we've got more than enough and then we can uh, replace this with a lot of batteries yeah i just want to make sure i keep an eye on the alloys at least the alloys needs to be continuously um developed but yeah food seems to be no problem whatsoever i am going to go ahead and deconstruct um all of these buildings because we really don't need the insect farms and we can repurpose this area for batteries and we can reuse those alloys as well okay so now uh, we can hold a hell of a lot of stuff here even do some batteries down here as well 
This one is, no, no, they've, they're actually all pretty good. This one is the one that needs more batteries, if anything. Oh, we built a big one over there, that's fine. Um, so the question really is, do we, let's, let's see about, we do need to do a little bit of research. Um, so let's see about, do we have, we've upgraded this, fully upgraded that, so that is generating its own. Let's see about grabbing this, send stockpiles, stockpiles can send one more transporter, that might be quite useful for us. So let's grab that one as a starting point. Um, over here we've done that, the EVA airlock, we can still do a few things. Construction speed is increased. Um, mining ships are 30% faster. All these kind of things, probe launches, things like that. That's fine. Uh, gateways. Yeah, I don't think that's necessary just yet. Batteries. What's battery tier 3? Uh, maybe we'll do that. Let's get battery tier 3 going. Maybe that's going to be what is helpful to us ultimately. Yeah, and I think that's kind of where we're going to end this episode. Just have one more look at what's going on around. We should have... Um, found this. So yes, this is underway. So there's lots and lots of iron over here. So we can actually make a move over to Romulus once we're comfortable that we've picked up most of what it is that we would want. Um, I don't mind going small distances here. What is this all picking up? Oh, that's just picking up. Um, oh, that's the last of it. That's the last of the iron over there, and there's a little bit of iron still left on that side there. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to end the episode, and in the next one, we'll move over to Remus. Oh, and I need to have a look at Vulcan. We'll do Vulcan, we'll move over to Remus, and we'll we'll go from there. And then only, um, we'll only have a little, a few ships come over this way for stuff, but the bulk of stuff will be picked up on this, um, on this side close to Remus. I am worried about activating the Peronese, though. Guys, thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed it, please hit that like button. I'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye!